Do you know what priceless antique was destroyed on the set of The Hateful Eight? Or which company lost more than $250 million in a day because of a typo? Find out as we look at the 10 most expensive mistakes in history. Number 10. The Millennium Bridge. At the turn of the century, the world was stricken with millennium madness. The future was within arm's reach and everything from pop music videos to the Guinness Book of World Records was already there. To celebrate the monumental occasion, the City of London decided to build a unique bridge across the River Thames, the likes of which the world's never seen. But perhaps they were thinking too far into the future, as the resulting and aptly named Millennium Bridge was closed only two days after opening in June of 2000. The bridge, which was a steel suspension footbridge, was found to sway as pedestrians strode across it on opening day. The movement by the people crossing the bridge resonated throughout the bridge, causing a small rocking motion along the structure. As more and more pedestrians traverse this bridge though, the subconscious effect of a mass of people stepping in sync with the rocking made for a quickly escalating danger. This $23.6 million investment jumped an additional $6.5 million as adjustments were made to counteract this oversight. Number 9. Riverside Apartment Crash no matter the culture you come from, there's just something magical and romantic about living beside a river. Unless that river seeps under your home, causing it to come crashing down. In 2009, Block 7 of the Lotus Riverside apartment complex in Shanghai, China, toppled to the ground, narrowly missing the other apartments. This 13-story building was in the middle of having a parking garage constructed underneath it, as water from the nearby riverbed seeped into the dirt beneath the building. A perfect storm bred from the hollow base, displaced soil, and now muddy foundation beneath the structure coalesced in a supersized Jenga fail. This accident resulted in one casualty and millions in lost revenue as the complex, valued at more than $2,000 per square meter, found itself with little to no tenants willing to pay the requested price afterwards. Number 8. Hateful Eight Guitar Incident when actress Jennifer Jason Lee was on the set of Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight, she had an excellent opportunity to play a piece of history on loan from the Martin Guitar Museum, a priceless six-string from the 1870s. There was just one small issue. No one told Kurt Russell. For those who haven't seen the film, spoiler alert, Russell destroys the guitar following a scene in which Lee, who plays his criminal captive, goads him into lashing out in anger. According to crew members who were on set that day, Russell was supposed to play out the scene as normal. Then the scene would cut to switch the guitar out for a prop, but word didn't reach Russell as he continued with the scene as scripted, shattering the antique in the process. This accidental obliteration resulted in the Martin Guitar Museum's resolution to never lend another piece to Hollywood. Not a complete loss though, the crew captured the scene on camera and were able to use it in the film, including Lee's very real reaction to seeing Russell annihilate the invaluable period piece. Number 7. SNCF Railway Goof With an incredible railway system throughout France, the national train operators known as the SNCF decided the country was due for an upgrade in the early 2000s. At a cost of more than $20 billion, SNCF ordered 2,000 new trains. It wasn't until the trains were constructed and delivered, though, that the French train operator realized they'd made a huge mistake. By only 10 to 20 centimeters, the newly constructed trains were built too big for their tracks. Apparently the plans for these trains were modeled off of newer railway specifications and didn't account for the size of most railways throughout the country. As a result, an additional $68 million was required to widen the tracks, but that only covered some of the railways. In addition, it was found out later that they were also built too tall to enter Italian train tunnels. The mistake of the SNCF continues to rack up costs as French taxpayers foot the bill. Number 6. The Isaac Peral Submarine in 2013, it was revealed that the new S-80 Plus submarines the Spanish were building had run into a bit of a hiccup. The first completed submarine, called the S-81 Isaac Peral, after the highly celebrated Spanish naval captain, had the equivalent of $680 million invested in its development. In addition, a whopping $3 billion was poured into the project that would develop another three submarines as well. The only problem was that the first one completed couldn't even float. At 75 to 100 tons overweight, this undersea vessel needed a plan. At the cost of $18 million per submarine, the Spanish Navy was able to extend the size of the hulls on the submarine, making them larger, bulkier, and longer than their original designs. But at least they could float. 
Then they ran into another hurdle. These new designs made the submarines too large for the Spanish Navy's holding pens. It was estimated in 2018 that an additional cost of $18 million or more would be needed to upgrade the holding facilities as well. Number five, the lost Euro Millions ticket. Across the world, from Los Angeles to London, people love playing the lottery. Everyone who does tends to have some sort of quirk, trick, or secret to how they plan on winning. As was the case with one elderly woman in England, who had made a habit of recording each set of numbers she wrote down for the Euro Millions lottery, before handing the ticket off to her husband. One week after having filled out her entry and the winning ticket remaining unclaimed, she decided to check the winning numbers and cross-reference them with her own. Sure enough, she had the $181 million numbers recorded from that week. Unfortunately, her husband, who'd been running this errand for his wife for years, had apparently thrown away the ticket, thinking it to be another pipe dream like all the tickets before. The winning ticket at the time was the biggest jackpot ever in Euro Millions history. Number four, Apple's awesome bargains. One of the giants of modern computer innovation, Apple vaulted from their humble beginnings to the superpower they are now. Hard work and clever design definitely helped fuel their success, but a few lucky breaks at the expense of others helped them along the way. In April of 1976, the co-founders of Apple, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, signed on a third partner to oversee mechanical engineering and documentation of the young company. Ronald Wayne, an experienced engineer that had worked with Jobs at Atari, was to serve as the veteran supervisor of sorts, with Jobs and Wozniak being nearly two decades younger than him. But only 12 days after joining the company in exchange for a 10% stake, Wayne got cold feet. In order to fulfill one of their early orders, Jobs took out a $15,000 loan. Wayne, being the only one of the three with assets and any money saved, feared he would be left with a financial burden. So he sold his 10% share, which is valued today at $80 billion. And he sold it back to Jobs and Wozniak for a mere 800 bucks. Apple got another stroke of luck in 1979 when Steve Jobs got to tour the Xerox headquarters in depth. Jobs facilitated the exchange of 100,000 shares of Apple stock at a price of $1 million and the opportunity to tour Park, Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center. It was during these tours of Park that Jobs discovered the Xerox Alto, a personal computer that utilized the aid of a mouse to control an on-screen cursor. It was capable of quickly switching from one window to the next and even had email capabilities within the building thanks to the world's first Ethernet network. Jobs was elated, yet simultaneously frustrated as Xerox had yet to do much with the technology. Jobs is quoted with shouting during the presentation of the Alto, Why aren't you doing anything with this? This is the greatest thing. This is revolutionary. The Alto went on sale two years later and flopped due to slow and underpowered operation speeds. Xerox would go on to leave the personal computer market altogether. But Jobs? He and Apple had bigger plans as Lisa, Apple's 1983 release, featured a mouse and other similar functions to the Alto at nearly $7,000 less. This still wasn't a huge hit as IBM personal computers still cost much less. However, this chain of events would lead to the development of the famous, high-grossing Apple Macintosh in 1984. Number three, the walkie-talkie. In the city of London on Fenchurch Street and the historical financial district, a large skyscraper with a bulbous upper section looks down at the city streets below. This 38-story building, nicknamed the walkie-talkie for its strange shape, costs more than $259 million to construct. While the building provides a unique look among the London skyline, when the structure was first built, it became clear there was a serious issue with the initial design. The concave shape of the glass acted as a mirror, reflecting the glare of the sun on focus points. This resulted in recorded temperatures ranging from 196 to 243 degrees Fahrenheit. These temperatures caused damage to vehicles and even scorched a nearby business owner's doormat, and a reporter covering the effects of the walkie-talkie was able to fry an egg on the ground in the glare of the skyscraper. It didn't take long before a temporary fixture was erected to prevent such an effect again. Number two, Mizuho Securities Stock Typo. Not everyone is fluent with typing, and even if you are, everyone is bound to slip up and make a mistake at one point or another. But in the case of one employee at the Japanese company Mizuho Securities, no one could afford to make the typo he did. Hoping to sell a single share of stock at approximately 610,000 yen, or $5,000, 
This unnamed employee made the biggest flub possible when he accidentally placed 610,000 shares of stock for sale at the price of 1 yen each. The company made attempts to cancel the order, but the Tokyo Stock Exchange doesn't cancel any orders, even accidental ones. This mistake resulted in a consequential loss of $255 million in one day's time, as the publicly perceived value of the company took a sudden, though accidental, downturn. Number 1. Purchase of Alaska Originally considered a mistake on the part of the United States, the purchase of Alaska was highly contested by politicians in Congress. Thought to be a frigid, barren place by some, footing the bill to purchase the land from Russia seemed like a hefty cost to others. And at a time when the different branches of the U.S. federal government were at odds with one another, it was very difficult to achieve a majority approval for the new territory up north. Luckily, Secretary of State William Henry Seward was able to negotiate the price of the purchase down to two cents per acre. He met with Russian Minister to the United States, Baron Edward de Stokel, and settled on a price of $7.2 million. Nicknamed Seward's Folly by opponents of the purchase, this deal would go on to be an extremely valuable get, with Alaska being rich in natural resources. Gold, oil, and other precious goods continue to flow out of the land of the midnight sun, getting that initial $7.2 million investment back tenfold. Perhaps this purchase should have been nicknamed Russia's Folly. What would you do if you could purchase land at two cents per acre? Let us know in the comments below.